Nolajet here at Royal House Oyster Bar. Get stuff in here, yeah. Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans French Quarter Restaurant Review Blog, feast with me on some great New Orleans seafood with char-grilled oysters and black and red fish in the New Orleans French Quarter at Royal House Oyster Bar for our New Orleans Creole Food Restaurant Review video. Royal House Oyster Bar is located in the New Orleans French Quarter at 441 Royal Street, which is on the corner of Royal Street and St. Louis Street. This building was originally built as a family home, but the first floor was converted into a restaurant and they still have the signs up on both sides of the building that say three generations of Tortorici Zavone, the nationally famous Tortorici restaurant. Louis Tortorici left his native Italy for New Orleans and founded the Contessa Antillina Society and on September 8, 1886, he became its first president. His son Anthony opened Tortorici's restaurant in 1900 with his father. His sons Anthony and Joseph became the proprietors in 1946. Sadly, Tortorici's closed after Hurricane Katrina and then Royal House opened up in 2008 in the former location of the longtime Italian restaurant. Royal House Oyster Bar is located directly across from Antoine's restaurant, which was opened in 1840, and I've got a few videos on that you can check out. So this little area here has got quite a lot of restaurant history. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out, and there's immediately a bar when you first walk in. Now we're gonna head upstairs and check out the balcony as they do advertise their balcony seating. Now the balcony is a little bit of a tight squeeze to get into, as you'll see here shortly, but they do have quite a nice upstairs area here. So when we walk up, you can see they've got some nice dining tables, and then they've got another smaller bar up here that's also quite nice. This is a great space up here for events or as a private dining venue, so it's uh, definitely great to know about areas like this in the city. And then we'll go out to the balcony here where you can see it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but you get a fantastic view. You just can't fit a whole lot of people on the balcony per table, so I think you're limited pretty well to two people as it's a very narrow, tight squeeze on the balcony here. But hey, it could be an enjoyable time on a nicer day. Now let's go ahead and go back downstairs and check that out. So the main bar is where the action's at here. And they've got quite a nice selection of adult beverages in the beer category for me and every other category for the folks that like other things. Then they have another dining room here in the back that's a pretty nice area. So it's not a huge downstairs dining area, but this is usually pretty busy down here full of folks. So it's got a constant flow of people for the most part. So let's check the menu out now. So we start out with oysters, of course. So we have raw oysters on the half shell, char-grilled oysters. Then we have appetizers with spinach and artichoke dip, fried alligator, blue crab claws, crispy oyster tostadas, fried eggplant, soups and salad, chicken and andouille gumbo, French onion soup, royal spinach salad, chicken Caesar salad. Then we have po' boys and sandwiches with a Gulf shrimp po' boy, crispy fried fish po' boy, oyster po' boy, crispy fried oyster BLT po' boy, royal house cheeseburger, alligator po' boy, roast beef po' boy, blackened chicken sandwich. On the next page, we have entrees with a taste of New Orleans, a sampling of the city's most famous dishes where you can choose Cajun chicken and andouille jambalaya, crawfish etouffee, red beans and rice, and chicken andouille gumbo. Then we have crawfish etouffee, Gulf shrimp and grits, crawfish and crab meat ravioli, blackened redfish, seafood pescator, grilled ribeye, baked Gulf shrimp tortellini, blackened chicken and jambalaya, and Creole red beans and rice. Then we have seafood platters with a choice of a Gulf shrimp platter, oyster platter, or crispy fried fish platter. Then Ladnyap with jalapeno hush puppies, french fries, or St. Louis slaw. And they want to remind you, don't forget to get your to-go drink. So I started out with a half dozen of the char-grilled oysters and they're all super cheesy looking. So let's dig in and see how they are. They uh, are a little bit hard to get out though because the oyster shucker did 
not cut the adductor muscle out, it seems. So, uh, that's kind of an amateur move. A really good oyster shucker would have cut that muscle out and these oysters would come out a lot more easily. There uh, really are some good taste in here though. So they did cook them nicely. They did season them perfectly with the butter and the garlickiness and this cheese. They just really needed that shucker to cut that muscle so they would come out a little easier. But, uh, you know, I've kind of noticed that at a few places now, when they're char grilling them, they're not cutting that muscle. So, ah, uh, it's like, look at this. It makes it a little hard to get it out. So, definitely it's better when they cut that muscle, I think. But, hmm, we'll see, we'll see. So, any given day. All right, that one is, uh, coming out. Oh, it's the little, little, uh, pull that it came out. But so nice and delicious, cheesy, buttery goodness. Oh, they do have a great taste. I'm enjoying taking these things down. I'm taking them down so quickly, I'm starting to get sad I didn't get the full dozen. As the half dozen went down way too fast here. So, ooh, I still have some bread and lots of delicious, juicy cheesiness to try to soak up with this bread. I don't even have anywhere near enough bread to try to soak all this goodness up here. But ooh, let's give it a good effort. All right, here we go. Ooh. Mmm, it's not quite as good as the oyster, but that's still some darn good flavor to sop up with your bread at the end. So don't forget to use the bread to get all the remaining lovely juicy goodness out of there. So just like I destroyed these oysters, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about these oysters. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. For my next course, I got a black and red fish with a double side of mixed vegetables. And ooh, this smells amazing and looks fantastic. This is cooked beautifully. Oh yes, they have blackened it and cooked it perfectly. This is seasoned exactly the way I like it. This is a great example of a black and red fish. Everything is flavorful. The fish is flaky and moist and delicious. It's got all the characteristics of a perfectly cooked piece of gulf fish. Ooh, there's so much flavor with the blackening here and the great quality of a red fish. So the only thing I'm feeling bad about is I've actually paid to eat this when I could have just gone out and caught my own red fish and I can uh, do a pretty good blackened red fish on my own. But you know, sometimes it's good to avoid all that work and uh, just get to the eating part. So. If I'm not doing it myself, this is certainly a pretty darn good version to sample. So if you're uh, not into fishing and you're not into cleaning fish and cooking fish, well, this is a pretty darn good example of the old Cajun blackened fish made world famous by our beloved Paul Prudhomme and K. Paul's restaurant that's no longer open and we all miss it. So this is uh, definitely one of the best versions I think I've had in the city since K-Paul's closed. So you certainly should give a black and red fish a try if you get an opportunity as it is a definite treat and a Louisiana specialty that you certainly can enjoy. And Applebee's may say they do some kind of New Orleans black and something or another, but it's not the same. Don't believe it. Don't believe all that until you, I, you gotta actually eat the real thing here in New Orleans and then you can make a comparison to it. If you want to go full authentic, you just need to go out to the Acadiana region of Louisiana and eat this with the Cajun folks out there. As hey, you know, they always do a great job of their food too. All right, so now let's try these delicious looking veggies. Wow, I'm starting to get full though. This is a huge serving of veggies. I don't know if I'll be able to finish all these veggies. This is like, ooh, like two or three servings here maybe. But you do need to eat your veggies at least five to seven servings of different fruits and vegetables a day for your optimal health is uh, what a lot of people recommend. And I think uh, that's a good goal to maintain. I do my best to do it. I don't always succeed, but I come pretty darn close. So I do love to get my crispy, crunchy fruits, veggies, and all the other things along with my protein. I do love a lot of meat and fish, so watch out. I do like my protein, but then I love my veggies too. So, mmm. All right, so just like I destroyed this plate of food, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and tell me what you thought about this meal. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. If I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. 
Now, I asked for a to-go box, and they just threw my food away, so I'm a little grumpy about that. There's ongoing service issues in a lot of places, so, uh, yeah, I'm not happy with that part. So, the total for my meal before tip was $49.70, which I still have to tip, even though they threw my veggies away. Arr! So, thanks so much to everybody at Royal House Oyster Bar for some fantastic food. Just make sure to never throw away my leftovers again. Arr! And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And would you kindly share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.